All right, guys, Don's Appliances here today. We're gonna to show you to make the perfect pan-seared ahi tuna right here. We're on the induction. We have a preheated cast iron. We're gonna take this guy, turn it up to a uh, turn it up to about a seven. So, guys, if you're using your gas, you know you're gonna throw it right in between medium and high. Use your electric, medium high is the same way. So, the key to this guy is we want to pat it dry, get all the moisture off the tuna steak. Okay, we have a nice thick one here. We're gonna go right into our rub, okay? Coat it nice and evenly on each side, just like this. And here's the best part. We're gonna shake all the excess off, just like that. Give it a little roll, just to take all that excess. Perfect, we're gonna put it down just like this. Wave it away so we don't burn. Now, we have a dry cast. We have just a little bit of oil in there just to soak it up, but we don't want a lot of oil. We don't wanna fry this thing. We wanna get a good crust on the top. So like I said, cast iron, seven, medium high. We're gonna bring it up to, to about a nine, just for about a minute, minute and a half, just to bring it up. So if you guys are using your electric or your gas, we're gonna put that guy right to high, just to notice the white edges is what we're gonna look for, okay? Put that right here. See how this is gonna start to get white. It's gonna go on each side. That's how we know we got a good dry sear. We don't want this grease. Tuna is a nice light piece. We want it nice. So we'll grab our spatula next. You can do a tong as well, but you don't want to beat the, the product up a little bit. You want to keep it nice and fresh, okay? Let's see this guy. Pick it up. See that? Look at that nice crust on it. That's what we want. So we're going to flip it. It's going to take about a, about a minute, minute and a half on each side. All right, guys, we got it a minute and a half, so we're gonna flip it on this side, just to show you the nice little crust on here. And now, see the white here? We got it medium in the center, so right now is where, if you want to serve a nice rare piece of tuna, we're gonna take it off, put it in a plate, and put it in the fridge to chill. If you'd want it a little more well, we'd leave it on for another minute to minute and a half, alternating each side so it cooks evenly. But the more we cook it, you're gonna see that white edge come right on there, okay? See how it's almost like sear on each side and then medium in the center? We're gonna put it in the fridge now to stop the cooking process. Probably three to five minutes. Put it on a nice plate. There you go, right to the fridge, okay? All right, guys, it's been about three to five minutes in the fridge here, so we're just gonna take it off the plate. We wanna see it's nice, got that center line. Now we wanna, we wanna just give it a nice slice like this, depending on how you like it. See how perfect that is on each side? Thick slices or thin slices. You could serve this under vegetables, you could serve it just as it is. Serve it with some soy sauce, maybe some of that uh, yum yum sauce, sriracha aioli, things like that. But we wanna just show you how the perfect sear comes to play right there. Each side, and it's nice and medium in the center. That's a perfect pan seared out you know, on the induction, but you could do it on your electric or you could do it on your gas as well. Don's appliance video. Thank you guys.